Well, there could be a new and faster way to fly by the end of this decade. One company is promising planes that travel faster than the speed of sound, cutting international flight times in half. And we're not talking about just the super rich hopping on the Concorde. Michelle Medina explains how these planes could bring a sonic boom to travel again. Pilot Bill Shoemaker is in this flight simulator preparing for supersonic speed. In Mach 1.02, so we've gone through the, the sound barrier. In a few months, Shoemaker will trade in the simulator for this, the XB1, built by the company Boom Supersonic. Blake Scholl is CEO. Our ultimate goal is high speed flight for everybody. After the XB1 is tested, Boom will start building a larger passenger plane called the Overture. The company says it will travel up to 1,300 miles an hour at 60,000 feet. That means a flight from Newark to London could take three and a half hours instead of six and a half. San Francisco to Tokyo could be done in six hours instead of 10. United Airlines is on board and says it will buy 15 of the planes once safety requirements are met. Our goal is to complete all that rigorous safety testing and be ready to carry our first passengers safely in 2029. The Concorde was the last supersonic jet to fly passengers, but with tickets costing $12,000, airlines struggled to find enough customers and shut down service in 2003. Boom plans to offer seats starting at $5,000. Supersonic travel can be done. It can be done safely. Former NTSB chairman Robert Sumwalt says it will take years of testing before Boom's passenger planes are ready for takeoff. I do believe the FAA will be extremely cautious in the approval of a product like this, and rightfully so. Supersonic travel is loud and can only be done over oceans, but Boom says its engines will be quieter. The company is hoping to eventually get approval to fly over land and offer mock speed on domestic flights. Nichelle Medina, CBS News, Los Angeles. The company Boom says its planes will run on 100% sustainable aviation fuel.